Uh, okay, thanks, Mike. Yeah, I'm here in the booth with uh, John Copel, and we're going to be looking at uh, what laser radar, right? That's right, Dirk. And uh, what is? Tell me a little bit about laser radar. I've I've seen it. I'm not really familiar with it. Uh, is it like laser scanning or? It does do laser scanning. At its heart, it's really a process control tool. And this is our latest offering. This is the MV331. It has a 30 meter range and it uses a spot to conduct measurements. So we can either do scanning or we can, even, we can extract discrete points from the parts that we're measuring. And how's it work? It works off of a principle called, well, it's either phase shift or heterodyne interferometry. That's what determines the range. Easy for you. <laughs> so basically what it does is we pre-program a CAD model and the system will go out an operator will either measure the points manually, or if we know where the laser radar is in relation to the points, the datums can be measured automatically. And from there, all of the data is collected. All of the other points that we want to be measured, all of the points that we care about, the characteristics that we care about are measured automatically. Okay, and you have a little demo you can show us on, on this? Sure, okay. sure. So what you'll see here on the screen, you see the software, Okay, so if you're if you're looking at the screen capture of this, you can see in the lower right corner that video that video image uh, doesn't look very responsive on the screen capture. Uh, but if you look here on the actual uh, camera image that the operator would see, you can see that that video is uh, really responsive. The laser radar points to each one of the tooling balls that gets the laser radar into the coordinate system of the car, and then if you see on the software here, we have predefined points that it goes to measure. So after it measures the tooling balls, it's then in the coordinate system of the part, and all of these points are measured automatically, whether they're surface points, gap flush, holes, slots, uh, threaded studs, whatever we care about, those are all measured automatically. And, and this is, uh, are you measuring distinct points, or is this actually doing like a scan, a complete surface scan? A little of both. So one of the things that you'll see it do here is we are taking some measurements on the C pillar of the car that you'll see. We're doing a scan right now, it, it measured a cylinder, now it's measuring the C pillar. So you can see, well, you can't see the red dot as it's measuring, but on the screen here, you can see that it's doing a scan over it and that corresponds to the model. Yeah, no, what, what is the purpose, what's, what's the purpose of the little video, the little video inset screen down here? Okay, so that is for human interaction. If this is run completed, completely automatically in an automated solution, this screen isn't necessary, but for people to know where to aim to a to establish the initial alignment, the user would aim at three predefined points, and from there, it measures everything else automatically. So, so they kind of manually steer the laser radar to point at the first tooling ball, for That's instance, exactly or something. Right. Okay. That's All exactly right. right. Okay. And this is intended to, uh, what, replace, uh, I think you said earlier, a horizontal arm or that sort of thing? Yeah, it's a, it's a very nice, it's an attractive solution to replace horizontal arm CMMs. We can generally measure the same, all of the same points, um, but it's much faster. With a horizontal arm CMM, there's a retraction time where the, the arm has to move back and move down. There's a lot of, of extra moving time where there's small angular movements from the laser radar, which are very fast. And I notice it's mounted on, on, a, on a robot here. What's the purpose for that? So that is a, this is just for show, but basically the robot is a stand. So the, the robot positions the laser radar so that it can get line of sight. We need line of sight. So after it moves to a position, we get line of sight to the tooling balls, it measures the tooling balls, and from there, then it measures everything else. It would then move, the car could move, or the robot could move to position two, re-measure the tooling balls, re-measure all the points that it sees from position two, and that just carries on. And so, are, are, is this more for, uh, with this particular setup on, on the robot, is this for automating an assembly line inspection process? Is that the goal? Yes, so we can measure directly in line, and we're doing that at several of the major automotive OEMs. We can measure in line, we can also measure beside the lines, we can measure right on the, the plant floor, or where customers are also installing this in the CMM room as a CMM replacement. Okay, so I, I guess since we've talked replacement a couple times, I, I think our viewers would want to know what is the, the, the difference, the practical difference between, uh, or maybe operational or, or accuracy, whatever makes sense, between this and a CMM or the laser radar and it, let's say a, a long range laser, you know, laser scanner that we've seen in, in other places on, on the floor, obviously. Yeah, so, so comparing this to a CMM, uh, we can generally measure the same number of points. We, in a, when we replace CMMs, we'll take their programs and run them right into the, our software and run the same points. We do correlation studies. We've done correlation studies against, studies against horizontal arm CMMs and about 90% of our points were within a tenth of a millimeter to a freshly calibrated horizontal arm CMM. 
We've also verified the system against third-party systems uh, like the Enora system. It's a tetrahedral. Uh, we can measure it and we typically do a little better than the freshly calibrated horizontal arm CMMs and tests like that. Um, and compared to the long range scanners that you're talking about, this system, the difference between this and those is that this focuses on particular points. So this is really more of a process control tool where those would be used for reverse engineering or to establish a model of the environment, that sort of thing. This is really a metrology tool that can be used at distance. Okay. And uh, what kind of accuracy? 10 parts per million. So the easy way to think about that is at one meter, we're, or at, sorry, it starts at two meters. So we're about 20 microns at two meters, three meters, 30 microns, four meters, 40 microns. Yeah, and, and that's typical of, of anything that uses a, a, a scan is the further out you get, uh, yeah, the, the greater the air grows because of the, yeah. the just nature of the beast. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Exactly. All right. Um, okay. Well, John, uh, Corporal, thanks for, for showing us around. Thank you, Dirk. Okay. Back to you, Mike. Thank you.